George, thank you so much for having us. We're here in Sacramento, and this is your first trip to Sacramento, yes. and this is in anticipation of your concert May 1st at the Harris Center. What is that concert going to be like? Well, f first of all, thank you for having me. Thank you. It's, it's a great honor and pleasure to be here with you. Um, so this concert is um, it's going to be a journey of, of emotions and languages and, and sadness to happiness and then back to sadness and then back again to happiness. So it's a... Uh, uh, somebody called it a roller coaster, which I, I didn't know what it meant at the time. <laughs> uh, then I learned what that was. So yeah, that's what it is. It's a it's a show full of of you know uh, core emotion. That's that's all. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, so you, you know we're gonna have songs in English and songs in French and songs in Greek. Um, you know, and with my band, uh, my three amazing musicians, they're all French speaking from Canada. They've been playing with me for many, many years, and um, you know we've done so many shows together, and are we're like a family. So um, you'll see that they, they're um, they're multiple, they're different musicians. They don't just play one instrument. So my cellist also plays the guitar, but she also does backing vocals, and my violinist is also a percussionist, and she also does uh, backing vocals. So it's it's a very interesting. Uh, the, 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 the sound and the, the color of the sound changes from song to song. So I'm really looking forward to um, share the show with you in, here in Sacramento. And for the show, is there one song in particular that's going to be your favorite to sing? <sighs> you know, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not very easy to... No, I love all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, uh, there are a couple of songs that, you know, um, they're like my little my little babies, and they're the ones that I prefer just a tiny little bit more than the other ones, like uh, like Broken Vow, uh, which is a beautiful ballad written uh, by my friend Lara Fabian. It's a song about, even though it's a song about betrayal, it's also a song about forgiveness and and resilience. Um, and then there's you know, there's Humana, which is a fun up tempo song, uh, describing how if all human beings spoke the same language uh, on this earth, it would be called Humana. The language would be called Humana simply because the only bond that we have is that we're all human beings. And it's a fun song where people, you know, they dance and they laugh and by the end of it they sing with me. Uh, it's a must, it's a, you know, it's mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't sing, they can't leave the, the premises. So, um, but you know, I love all of the songs and that's why I, I, I chose to sing them. And I'm very happy to bring uh, the picture of this tour here because, you know, I've, we've done more than probably 50 or 60 concerts around the world. Uh, with the same repertoire and uh, we've had great feedback everybody loved the show and I was so grateful to meet my fans you know at the end of the show and and and, and see how they they loved it and how they connected with the songs and so I'm I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, coming here May 1st uh, at the Harris Center and presenting it to you. Well, we're really excited to have you. I'm a fan. Oh, thank you. And you have many fans. In fact, you've sung for many, many audiences and large, large groups as high as 45,000, but this is going to be a more intimate setting. What does that mean for yeah. your audience? Um, well, singing for 45,000 people was just once. <laughs> it's not like I do it every day. <laughs> uh, it happened in, in, in Mexico a few years back. Um, you know, when you sing for a smaller uh, group of people, it's it's challenging. It's uh, it's scarier for the artist because you know everybody is very close to you, and you j literally you can see them. You can see these eyes looking at you. So um, uh, you know it's a little more uh, intimate, and sometimes. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that your 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 emotion is genuine, and that way you can um, convey that to your audience and and connect with them, and hopefully it'll happen <laughs> every night before you know because I'm always nervous before an interview before a show before anything I'm always always nervous so especially before a concert when my knees and when my legs start shaking um, I always pray that you know uh, please God uh, may this show be good and may the, the audience connect with me and I connect with them in one sentence George what does music mean to you the world. Um, I'm very grateful to music. Music, that's actually a, a, a beautiful question. Thank you for asking that. Music, um, music gave me hope. 
music gave me the freedom to be who I wanted to be. Um, you know, I come from a, from a difficult childhood. Uh, my parents divorced when I was young, and it was a very violent uh, and abrupt divorce. So music was my, the only way I had to, to surpass all these obstacles and to find uh, a gateway to, to just express myself. So through the years and through my career and uh, all the places that I've been, music literally gave me the freedom to, to be who I wanted to be. And for that reason, I will be grateful to music forever. And you know, at the same time, it also gave me the chance to travel the world, to go to places that I would have never imagined I would ever go to. Like today, it's, I told you that before, yesterday um, I was at the airport and I was thinking to myself, wow, you're a, a, a Greek little boy and you're in Sacramento. Who, who would have thought? So, you know, I'm very grateful to music because it gave me the chance to travel, to interact and to meet people that, you know, I would have never thought. And to even be on stage with some legends and, and people that I truly admired. So, you know, it's, it's my world. Thank you, George. Oh, thank you.